In the shadow of the London Eye, an unusually empty Westminster Pier. It's the warmest New Year's Eve on record, a balmy 15 degrees, but among the quietest too. The main celebration cancelled, many opting for a muted celebration. We usually go and see family and stuff like that, but it's a bit quieter this year, so mm -hmm. we thought we'd just get out just the two of us. But unlike last year, there are no restrictions on socialization in England, despite another day of record-breaking COVID numbers. The government instead today focused on progress made with boosters. It's precisely because of that huge national effort that we can celebrate tonight at all. Though I must, of course, urge everyone to be cautious and to take a test if you're going out and to remember the importance of ventilation. Meanwhile, Paris is ringing in the new year with an outdoor mask mandate after France hit another record as well. And not everyone is pleased. This woman says she won't adhere to the rules. In New York, too, a scaled back celebration. Officials limited capacity to 15,000 for the celebration in Times Square, despite public health messaging for people to avoid large gatherings. Everybody wants this to be over and live our lives again, get our lives back. Colorful fireworks lit up the sky above Sydney Harbor. Celebrations went ahead, even as that country recorded its highest ever number of coronavirus cases. While 2022 will mark the third year of a pandemic, a sense that things are getting better. 2021 has been a tough year, but there is also a lot to be grateful for. Back in London, all four dials of Big Ben are revealed after conservation work for the first time in four years. Counting down what many hope are the days toward the end of the pandemic. Farah Morali, CBC News, London.